Kicking off round-robin play for DCSS, the local girls taking on Coralou from Quinnell. A good start for DCSS, the ladies on their toes and looking focused. A nice bump to the captain in power position and a perfect spike to the back row is too much to handle. DCSS wins set 1, 25-13. In set two, DCSS comes out strong, pulling ahead early 8-2. to two. Coralou would try to stall the inevitable, but DCSS takes the set 25-11 and the match. Next up for Dawson Creek is Prince George Secondary School. A slow start for DCSS causes them to trail early, but they manage to catch up and send this set into extra serves. In the end, though, PGSS would take it 28-26. The local ladies looking for revenge. After a back-and-forth start, DCSS trails 17-12, but stages a comeback to pull ahead 19-18 and continues their momentum to claim set 2, 25-20, forcing a deciding third set to 15. Numerous competitive rallies and multiple lead changes. This one ends 16-14 for Dawson Creek. DCSS goes 2-0 in round-robin play, qualifying for a direct advance to the semifinal. The best of five semifinal would see a rematch between DCSS and Coralou, the ladies in blue looking to get even. In set one, the teams are tied at seven, but DCSS goes on a run to defeat Coralou 25-15. DCSS looking good in set two as well. A perfectly orchestrated bump set spike propels the black and red to take it 25-20. DCSS only looking forward, dominate set three over Coralou with a 25-13 win. And they're on to the gold medal game. For their final challenge, it's a battle of two of BC's top teams. Number three, DCSS taking on number five, College Heights. Set one would see DCSS trail virtually the whole game, despite valiant efforts of a comeback. And even this spike wouldn't be enough. College Heights wins 25-23. The next set starts competitively to eight, but then College Heights would prove to be too much for DCSS, pulling ahead to take set two, 25-15. Dawson Creek, not quick to surrender, goes up early in set three. College Heights catches up, but the teams would trade leads throughout this one. With College Heights leading 25-24, DCSS not able to hang on, as their opponent spikes one final blow to the home team. Twenty-six twenty-four is the final. Dawson Creek Secondary takes home the silver medal at the Triple A Zone Playoffs. I thought we got better as the weekend went on. I thought you saw that in the last game. I thought we played really, really well. I mean, two of the sets were within two points, and you know we're playing against a top five team in BC. It showed us that just because we're a small town, we can beat the big cities. It really made me more enthusiastic and like having like cause a lot of my family came out to support and it was really nice. Like I loved it having the, but it was also nerve wracking at the same time because we're usually away and only have like one or two people cheering for us. So it kind of maybe got to us, but I really loved it having people cheer for us. After going three and one over the weekend, the provincially third ranked team from DCSS lost in the final. Both College Heights and Dawson Creek Secondary will be representing the region at Provincials, which is taking place in Powell River during the last weekend of November. Provincial opportunities don't come along every day, so you got to go and seize the moment. I really hope that we build and, and play better uh, at the Provincial Championship, which I think we will. I think we'll be prepared. You know, we'll work really hard this week and, and go down there fired up to, uh, to win that title. Taylor McIntyre, CJDC TV News, Dawson Creek.